Welcome everyone to another episode of the SEC Fantasy Draft on Madden 24. Last episode, the played game, we went ahead and win the Sim game. We did unfortunately lose, but a very positive trend is emerging, and that is we that we have an amazing offense. First in points per game, second in rush pass yards, six in pass or second in rush yards, six in pass yards. And that's going to be put up to the test today against the Green Bay Packers, who have an 87 overall defense. That is certainly going to cause us a whole lot of issues, potentially. You know, the game, we played the Titans week one, they did an 85 rated defense, and we hung 57 on their head. So this could be a little bit of an interesting game for us against the Packers. They are 2-0, and they do have TJ Watt, Jesse Bates, Levante David, and Hufanga, Greg Newsom as well, so... It's not like they just have one good portion of the defense, a very good all-around defense that we are probably going to struggle with. But, I mean, TJ Watts probably just going to be rushing, rushing the passer. So, probably be able to exploit either him in coverage or whoever the right outside linebacker is. This seems like they only have one good corner. We could probably hit their, their second corner. So, there's a lot of things that we can do. This is definitely a winnable game, but it's going to be it's going to be a little bit tough for us, especially with... On their offense, Aaron Jones and Debo Samuel, both pretty good, well-rounded targets. So I think they're, they're, they're a very well-rounded team, but I think in specific positional matchups, we might have the slight advantage, and we're just going to have to take advantage of that. And here are the highlights. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic, so I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline out of bounds where no one's going to have a chance at it. That was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Evan not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't, you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do, they did. And this is caught. Touchdown. Rockets. Down went in the wrong direction. They're at the 13 yard line. Here's second and goal. Prescott. Touchdown. Two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Saints. Play action now. Prescott. Open man down the field is Landry. Touchdown, Saints! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. Off play action, Tannehill winds up and lets it go for Samuel. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hilton, and the Saints are going to have it here just past the 25. A certain incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit. A lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Quarter number four. On first down, it's Tannehill. This will be caught. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And this is picked up by the Saints. The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. There are two. The Saints on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and three. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Nick so we did win this game 31 to 10. Very good job by us another well well rounded offensive game and sometimes it's just good to get and get another win Dak Prescott played an absolute perfect game 13 for 15 212 yards and three touchdowns perfect pass rating in 158.3 and I already know someone in the comments that will at least at one point in the series will say oh you're just you know you're you're playing on too low of a difficulty just you wait until I don't play a good quarterback quarterback game we will lose I can guarantee it but whenever I'm good, we dominate. Whenever I don't throw stupid interceptions, we dominate. But obviously, every Madden player knows, sometimes you just throw eight picks in a game and you don't know why everything went wrong. Nick Chubb certainly also helped the, 
team 17 carries for 100 yards and a touchdown. Other guys did get involved a little bit, but Nick Chubb is just so good. Evan Ingram definitely exploited their defense there with five catches for 96 yards and a touchdown. Jarvis Landry, three for 55 and a touchdown. And it was really just the Ingram and Landry show. Two pancakes coming from our right guard, backup right guard, Mason Brooks, and our starting right tackle, Jason Peters. C.J. Mosley led the team in tackles with seven. Leonard Floyd was the only player on our team to get a sack. Only one interception coming from Mike Hilton. And we did have also a forced fumble by Mike Hilton. Daniel Carlson had to actually kick a field goal today. We went one for one. Perfect. And as well from extra points. Sim game we lost against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 27-20. A little bit scary of a trend is emerging. We can't win these simmed games. That's why I'm simming them and not playing everything. But the biggest problem in that game was losing Nick Chubb. 97 overall, running back by the way. The heartbeat of our team. You saw 17 carries for 100 yards. At, you, you know He's not going to get a whole bunch of yards, but third and short, second and short, fourth and short, I'm going to him every single time. And he, we're going to be missing him for the next three weeks. I mean, that's tough because our the rest of our division is actually pretty good this year. Com the complete opposite of real life. But in Madden, they're doing pretty good. And we're facing the undefeated New England Patriots to start next episode without Nick Chubb. This is going to be a very interesting game. Probably going to be my first game that I actually play that we could lose. Just looking ahead it is certainly an option and potential and possibility. But at the same time, you know, this is Madden. Crazy stuff happens. We could somehow avoid losing. But I think this is probably going to be our toughest challenge. At least for, these, at least for the first half of the season. Obviously later on, things could happen. But for right now... This is going to be our toughest challenge of the season. But, you know, I mean, you know, stuff happens that kind of expected. Probably just going to go like a full spread offense since we don't really have a true running back in Cordero Patterson and just try to air it out as much as I can, you know, rely on Dak a little bit. Because right, I think that's the only way we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that undefeated Patriots team. But everything, anything could happen, and hopefully... If you guys subscribe to see a pretty tough game against that New England Patriots team. And I hope to see you all then.